<laughs> oh, hello! Welcome to our cafe! The best cafe in the world! <laughs> I'm staying out of Ben's way at the moment. He's in a terrible flap and I've got no idea why. His face looks like this. <laughs> you wait and see. Oh, 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 We've got a problem. Calm down, Ben. Whatever's the matter? Oh, hello, everyone. It's Aunt Millie's birthday, and we haven't got her a present. Oh, it's Aunt Millie's birthday, and we haven't got her a present. Oh, dear. Well, well maybe we could buy her one. Ben, we haven't got time. We're in the cafe all day. Uh, well, well, perhaps we could cook her something. You know what Aunt Millie's like about food? I don't like this. I don't like that. Well, what are we going to do? I don't know. I really don't know. Huh? We've got a customer. A customer? Well, customers come first, Ben. But we still need to get something for Aunt Millie's birthday. We'll have to think of that later, Small. Go and see who the customer is. I'm on my way! Who is it today, Small? I'll give you some clues. See if you can guess too. It's someone who likes growing silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Is it a girl or is it a boy? It's a girl. A girl who likes spending lots of time in her garden. Oh, I think I know who it is. Is it Mary Mary? Yes, it is, Ben. It's Mary Mary, quite contrary, from the flower garden. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Oh, I bet she's hungry after all that watering and weeding. Now, what shall we cook for her? What would somebody who grows flowers like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. This is a story about Mary Mary, who more than anything in the world loved her flower garden. Lots of people came to Mary's stall to buy her beautiful flowers. Sometimes a bunch of tulips, or daffodils, or sometimes just one rose. It was lucky Mary Mary had a big garden, just the place to grow lots and lots of different flowers. But to grow flowers, you need seeds. Today she was going to plant some more. She went to her shed and picked up a seed packet. She planted the seeds in little rows all over the garden and watered them with her watering can. Then there was nothing to do but wait for the seeds to grow. So she waited and waited and waited until one morning she came out and as far as the eye could see, there were hundreds and hundreds of big green leafy things and not a single flower in sight. Mary Mary was so disappointed, she just sat down and cried. I knew I had to help. Poor thing, she thought she was a really bad gardener. But Little Cook Small knew better. I could tell straight away what the problem was. I started to pull up the leafy things, and underneath the earth, I found carrots. Mary Mary realised she must have planted the wrong seeds. They weren't flower seeds, they were carrot seeds. And very good carrots they were too. We poured them up together until we had stacks and stacks of juicy orange carrots. Then we planted the flower seeds in the empty garden. Mary Mary was going to have to wait until the flowers grew. But in the meantime, she put a big display of lovely orange carrots on her stool. Then she made carrot soup, carrot cake and carrot juice for all her customers. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Well, roast my potatoes. Oh, what a lovely story, Small. Way! Thanks, Ben. So what are we going to make for Mary Mary Quite Contrary? Well, why don't we make her some silver bells and cockle shells? Oh, 
Oh, no, Small. I don't think they'd be very tasty. Ooh. This needs some careful thought. Hmm. <gasps> Ooh! Oh! Ah. Ah. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Oh, yes, the very thing. Fancy flowers. Mary Mary will love these. They remind her of her garden. Come on, Small, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need butter. OK, over to the fridge. Here we go. There we are. Butter. An egg. One egg. Got the egg, Small. Caster sugar. Oh, over in the cupboard. Here we are. Caster sugar. Yep. Yeah. Plain flour. Oh, plain flour. There we go. And boiled sweets. Boiled sweets, boiled sweets. Uh, uh yes. Oh, here we are. Everything we need, apart from the boiled sweets. I was a little bit hungry earlier, Small, and I ate them. They are my favourite. You've eaten all the boiled sweets? Well, don't worry, Ben. It's another job for Little Cook Small and his magic spoon mobile. Great idea, Small. And I'll get everything ready. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whee! Go, Small. Go, Small. Whiz away. I wonder what he'll see today. I'm in the right place here. This is where sweets are made. Sweets are made from sugar. All the ingredients are mixed together and heated up in a big pan. It's really hot. Look at all the steam. one's turned red. He's going to make orange and red sweets. Ah, I love sweets, but I make sure I brush my teeth after eating them. It's all gooey. Yummy. That machine is rolling out the sweets. There's hundreds of sweets, but they're all joined together. When they've cooled down, they're all broken up. Sweets come in lots of pretty colours, just like the flowers in Mary Mary's garden. See you later. There. I think I've earned a nice tasty boiled sweet now. Did you bring any back, Small? Way! I certainly did, Ben. It was amazing watching the sweet maker. First he mixed lots of hot sticky stuff on a table. And as it cooled, he turned it into lots of colourful boiled sweets. And here they are. <whistles> Whoa! Oh, thanks, Small. All measured out and ready to cook. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat
Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to fancy flowers? You do. There was butter, 200 grams, an egg, one, caster sugar, 200 grams, plain flour, 400 grams, and boiled sweets, six. Whoopee! Let's get started! First of all, I'm going to turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark four. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> And be careful not to fall over on one of those sweets, Small. <laughs> as if I do something as daft as... <laughs> oh! Just making sure. Hmm. Right. I'm going to get these sweets sorted out once and for all. And I'm going to put the sugar... ...and the butter... ...a little bit more, into a mixing bowl. And I'm going to cream them both together. Creaming is a special kind of mixing. Here we go. All the red ones first. One, two, three. There we are. All nice, pale, creamy and fluffy. So now it's time to add your egg. In it goes. And I'm going to give it a good stir. Round and round, get it all mixed in. Now it's time to sort the yellow sweets. One, two, three, four. Now we need this to be a little bit thicker. And what makes things thicker? That's right, flour does. Hey, <laughs> So I'm going to add in our flour a little bit at a time. There we are. And as I'm doing this, I'm going to give it a bit of a stir with the spoon. In it goes, keep stirring, mix it all in together. And last of all, the orange. I wonder how many there are. One, two, three. Here we are. Oh, and this is the fun part. Now I'm going to squidge it up with my nice clean hands. Here we go. Oh, yes. Give it a good old scrunch up. This will teach you sweets. Keep you in order. <laughs> there are five red, four yellow, and three orange. There we are. Look at that. Perfect. So now I need to roll it out to make the biscuits. I've already floured the board, so I just need to start rolling it. There we are. Turn it round. Very good. There we are. There'll be no more slipping over on sweets. <laughs> oh, these biscuits are going to be very tasty. And they're going to look just like the flowers in Mary Mary's garden. So, I'm going to use this flower-shaped pastry cutter to cut out the biscuits. So, I'm going to pop it down on there. Press down. <sighs> And then, oh, up it comes. I'm going to scoop it up. There we are, nice and careful. And pop it onto a grease baking tray. There. And now I need to use this round pastry cutter to take a little hole out of the middle. On it goes. Twist it, and out it comes. There's one. And now for another. Mary, Mary, is such a beautiful garden. I wish we had silver bells and cockle shells in our garden. It would make the vegetable patch look so pretty. And just finish off the last one. There we are. These holes are going to be for our boiled sweets, which we're going to pop in later. We need to let them cook a little first. So, in the oven they go for 10 minutes until they're nice and golden. I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. There. <laughs> The biscuits are ready. There we are. We just need to leave them to cool down for a couple of minutes. So how are those sweets coming along, Small? Ready when you are, Ben. All present and correct. Which colour would you like first? Oh, that doesn't matter, Small. We're going to have multicoloured flowers. Mary Mary will love that. 
Thanks very much. You've messed up all my sweets, Ben. Oh, sorry, Small. <laughs> These are cool now, so I'm going to pop in the boiled sweets. One there, one there, another one in there, one there, and that one, and then that one. Brilliant. Multicoloured flower biscuits. Oh, Mary Mary's going to love these. And don't worry if your boiled sweet doesn't fill up the hole you've cut out. They'll spread out once they're in the oven, which is where they're going right now. So, oven gloves on, and we pop them back in the oven for another three minutes. And remember to get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. There we go. And now we wait. They're as pretty as real flowers, Ben. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, is going to love these. Oh, no doubt about it, Small. Just look at the light shining through. Mmm, they look great. Fancy flowers coming through. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our jobs. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Hey! It looks like Mary Mary enjoyed her fancy flowers. And look, Small, there's a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, the fancy flowers were yummy! <laughs> and to say thank you, here's some real flowers from my garden. Isn't that kind? Ben? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I might be. What are you thinking? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Aunt Millie! Oh, hey. See you soon. See you soon. Oh, yeah. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone. These clothes are great. I wonder which one I like best. Hey, that red and gold jacket is brilliant. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Small. Hello, everyone. I've just been shopping. Do you like my new clothes? I don't believe it. I've just been looking at clothes like yours in my magazine, Ben. <laughs> your clothes are designed by the best fashion designers. They're amazing. I didn't realise you were into fashion, Small. Well, nothing much fits me. But it doesn't matter because I just love looking at the pictures in my magazine. Well, let's have a look then. Well, who'd have thought it? Big Cook Ben in top designer fashion. Ho ho! <laughs> Sounds like we've got a customer. I better go and change out of my brand new clothes if I'm going to be cooking. Go and see who it is, Small. I'm on my way. Whoosh! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? I'll give you a clue. She has a sketch pad and she's drawing clothes. Oh, oh, I know. It's Vanilla, the fashion designer. You're right, Ben. Now, what can we cook for a fashion designer? I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. 
Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, my friend phoned to tell me about a big fashion show that was being held in the city. It all sounded very exciting, so I climbed onto my spoon and whizzed away to see for myself. When I arrived at the fashion show, I couldn't believe my eyes. There was a huge catwalk, bright lights, and fashion designers with lots of different clothes on rails. One designer had clothes that he'd made from denim. There were big flared denim jeans and denim jackets with lots of rips in them. Another designer had gone completely dotty. All her clothes were spotty. <laughs> One designer had made all her clothes pink. It was then that I spotted Fenella, the fashion designer. She looked very sad. In fact, big tears were pouring from her eyes. Her clothes rail was completely empty. I asked her what the matter was, and she told me that her clothes hadn't arrived. What was she going to do? A fashion designer without fashion? I knew I had to do something to help, so I asked her if she had any material left over. Oh yes, she said, but it's such a small piece of material, it won't be enough. Well, the material wouldn't have been big enough for a big person, but it was plenty to make some clothes for a little person like me. So I helped Vanella make me a brand new suit of clothes. We had to work fast, but by the time the show began, we were ready! Woohoo! My job wasn't over yet. I needed to model the clothes too, so I set off along the catwalk. It was a great success! Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure! Oh, you were brilliant, Small! Way! Helping to make clothes and model them? Oh, that must have been great fun! Oh. <laughs> Hey, hey, do you think I'd be good on the catwalk, Small? Oh, you'd be great, Ben. But I think you should stick to cooking. You're really brilliant at that. Now we need to work out what to cook for Fenella the fashion designer. Hmm. Oh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. That's it, Small. I found it. Look. That's perfect, Ben. Fancy fashion biscuits. Brilliant for Fenella, the fashion designer. OK, you read out the ingredients, Small, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need an orange. Orange. Over to the fruit bowl. Got that, Small. Butter or cooking margarine. In the fridge. Here we go. Butter. Got it. Caster sugar. Caster sugar, yep, got that. Plain flour. Plain flour, here we are, got the flour small. Icing sugar. Icing sugar, yep. Food colourings. You can use natural colourings if you like. In your favourite colours. And a little hot water. I can get that from the kettle later. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. What's the hot water for, Small? Well, it says here it's for the icing decoration. Oh, I don't know a lot about icing. Hmm. Hey, why don't you whiz off and find out how it's done, and I'll get everything ready. Good idea, Ben. See you later. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Go, Small! Go, Small! Whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Well, hey, this is going to be lots of fun. The lady is going to decorate a cake. She's using coloured icing. Can you see what colour icing it is? It's yellow! Now she's using red icing. 
And that's blue. Have you guessed what they are? That's called a piping bag. This time, the icing is pushed through the hole at the end to make a pattern. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle! It's three balloons! And that's the string attached to the balloons. Oh, look! That's a cutter. It's cutting the icing into a shape. There's lots of them. What do you think they are? They're flowers! Pretty pink and yellow flowers. What a beautiful cake! That was great! I can't wait to tell Ben! <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> do I look cool? No. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Way! I'm back! That was brilliant, Ben. I saw a cape being decorated with different tools, and I've brought back some ready coloured icing. Woohoo! There's blue, red, and yellow. Wow! Thanks, Small. Hey! <laughs> Well, you seem to be the icing expert, so I'll tell you what, why don't you be the designer for Fenella's fancy fashion biscuits? That's a brilliant idea, Ben. I might not be able to wear fashion, but that doesn't stop me being a fashion designer. <laughs> We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to fancy fashion biscuits? You do? There was an orange, the grated rind of one, the inside you can eat later. Butter or cooking margarine. 125 grams cut into little pieces. Caster sugar. 50 grams. Plain flour. 175 grams. And for the icing, icing sugar. 200 grams. Food colourings. Any colour you like. Softened butter or cooking margarine. 100 grams. And a little hot water. A few drops. Whoopee! Let's get started! OK, the first thing we're going to do is turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark 4. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot! <laughs> Can I make a start on the designs, Ben? Not yet, Small. We need to make the biscuit mixture first. So, put the flour... ...in we go. The sugar... ...there it is. The... Butter or margarine. In it goes. And the orange rind into a bowl like this. And give it a stir so that all the little pieces of butter are coated with the flour. Way! Do 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 do. Do 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 do. So, rub the butter into the flour and sugar gently, using your fingertips, until the mixture's all crumbly. Like this. What are you doing, Small? I've decided to make a start on the designs, Ben. Look! Hoo-hoo! Looking good, Small. But i better get on with the biscuit mixture. So, keep rubbing the butter in until the mixture starts to clump together to make a dough, like this. Hoo -hoo -hoo. 
If it's still a bit crumbly, you can add a few drops of milk, but not too much. <laughs> I've shaped the dough mixture into a ball, ready to roll it out. There! Look, Ben, I've designed a jumper with red flowers on it. <laughs> wow, flower power! <laughs> you really are a good fashion designer, Small. So, I'm going to flower the board and the rolling pin and then roll out the dough. It needs to be about one centimetre thick. Turn it round. And now I need some help from the fashion designer. Oh! <laughs> That's me! <laughs> I'll start with your jumper design then. Here we go. You need to cut the clothes shapes out of the dough using a blunt table knife. Looking good! Hey Ben, how about some trousers and some boots to go with the flower power jumper? <laughs> OK boss! I think these boots are going to be difficult because they're a tricky shape. You're right, designer small. I need to be really careful cutting out these boots. These look brilliant now, so I'm going to carefully put them onto a greased baking tray. I've greased a baking tray so the biscuits don't stick. Perfect. Thank you, small. And now we need to pop them in the oven for 15 minutes. So, oven gloves on. And over we go. There we go. Open the oven. And in they go. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. And now I'm going to make some white icing. So I will pop in the butter, nice and soft. And I'm going to beat it with a wooden spoon until it goes all creamy. Then, sift in the icing sugar. OK, Small, sifting now. Here we go. In it goes. Give it a good old Steady. shake. Steady! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Small. <laughs> That'll do. And then ask your grown-up helper to pour in the hot water. Just a few drops. Quick stir. Round we go. Mixed in, and there we go. Icing. If you want to make the icing into different colours, you can add a few drops of food colouring. Or you could use ready-made icing pens or cake decorations. Our biscuits are cooked and cooled now, so... I'm going to need your help, designer small. Well, for the jumper, I would like an arrangement of red flowers. Oh, very nice. <laughs> now, I've put the icing into this piping bag. I'm going to pipe on little dots of icing, like this, so that the flowers stick. There's one, and another. On goes the flower. You're getting really good at this, Ben. There we are, Small, the flowery dress. Marvellous! Small's designer collection. Fenella will love these. Well, let's see, shall we? Fancy fashion biscuits coming through! There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. 
so now it's clear Let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes, Small. And it looks like Fenella enjoyed her fancy fashion biscuits. Look, she's left us a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, my fancy fashion biscuits were delicious. Woohoo! <laughs> to say thank you, I've been busy making a set of top fashion designer clothes for Small from Fenella the fashion designer. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at these. These are fantastic, Small. Wow! Here you go. Brilliant! My very own outfit! Hey! hey. So, Small, Fenella must have made your clothes earlier on her sewing machine. Wow! Look at me! Designer clothes in my size! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Come on, give us a twirl, Small! Woohoo! <laughs> right, let's go out and show off our brand new designer clothes. Come on, Small! Bye, everyone! See you soon! Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone! Well, it's a wonderful day! Got a big smile on my face! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Oh, the perfect place to come on a wonderful day like today. <laughs> Hello everyone, you sound like a very happy chappy today, Ben. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it seems like Ben has more than just a smile on his face. He's got a big red spot too. Oh, <laughs> hey, uh, small, why are you staring at me? Staring? Yes. Maybe you think I look rather handsome today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, Ben. I'm staring at your spot. What spot? That one on your chin. Where? <laughs> there. Oh, it's no good. I can't see it. I need a mirror. But we don't have a mirror, Ben. Why don't you try seeing your reflection in something shiny, like a saucepan lid? Good idea, little cook. Right. Oh, there we are. Here we go. Let's have a look at this spot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> My face looks all funny in this, little cook. It's sort of fat and sort of thin at the same time. <laughs> but I still can't see this spot, though. Oh! Sounds like we've got a customer. I'll have to worry about that later. Go and see who it is, little cook. I'm on my way! Woohoo! So, who's our customer today, Small? Well, she's white with brown spots. Hmm. White with brown spots, you say? Give us another clue. She likes to go moo. And she's very good at jumping over the moon. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Ho oh, ho, it's Clover, the cow who jumped over the moon. You're right, Ben. Clover the cow. Now what would a moon jumping cow like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One evening, I was camping out under the stars when... I was suddenly awoken by the sound of a fiddle. Followed by loud laughter. <laughs> I poked my head out of the tent and saw a cat playing the fiddle, whilst a little dog, a cow, a china dish and a silver spoon danced together beneath the moon. When the music stopped, I cheered. Hello, laughed the little dog. Come and watch Clover the cow. She's going to jump over the moon. 
It won't be easy," said Clover. "The moon is in a bit of a silly mood." Everyone looked up at the moon. "Silly Billy me!" it giggled, and it bounced around the sky. We all held our breath as Clover tried to jump over the moon, but it kept bouncing away. I wish the moon would keep still," Clover groaned. "I can't jump over it." Suddenly, I had an idea. "You are such a beautiful moon." It stopped bouncing and listened. "So creamy and dreamy," I continued. "You're nearly as beautiful as the other moon." "What other moon?" said the moon. It's there, floating on top of the lake," I said. The moon stayed very still as it stared at its own reflection in the lake. And whilst it was staring, moo! Clover the cow leapt right over it. Hooray! I cheered. There isn't really a moon more beautiful than you," I told the moon. "It's just your own reflection in the water." <laughs> Silly Billy me! Giggled the moon, admiring its own reflection. And suddenly it saw Clover's reflection too, just as she jumped over it. Hee hee! We look wonderful together, Clover," said the moon. So Clover kept jumping, and the little dog laughed and laughed. <laughs> little cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. So Clover jumped over the moon, and the moon was very pleased indeed. Thanks to you, Small. Thanks, Ben. So, what can we cook for a hungry moon leaper? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, Ben. Ooh. I know, big cooks, big cookery book. Of course, the big cookery book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Aha! Here we go. I found just the recipe for clover. It's creamy. It's dreamy, and a little bit dotty too. It's spotty trifle. And it's spotty just like clover the cow. <laughs> it's moo pa doopa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. Okay, let's see. We're going to need jelly. Oh, jelly! Yes, here we go. Jelly in the cupboard. Oh, we're using strawberry, but you can use any flavour you like. Trifle sponges in the cupboard as well. Got the trifle sponges, small. Jam. Oh, jam! Yes, lovely jam. Yep. A tin of fruit cocktail. Oh, very fruity. Got the fruit cocktail. Custard. Oh, lovely yellow custard. I love this. Got it, small. Chocolate buttons. Chocolate buttons. Oh, lovely chocolate buttons. I love these in the fridge. Chocolate buttons. Got those too, small. And some cream for whipping. Oh, delicious cream. Here we go. Oh, right. Okay. There we are. Right. Small. We don't seem to have any cream for whipping. Oh no. But it's okay because we've got everything else. So why don't you whiz off and get some, and I'll get all the ingredients ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away. I wonder what he'll see today. I love the countryside. That's grass. Something is eating the grass. What is it? It's a cow. <laughs> This is a milking parlor. Pipes are put on the cow's udders to suck out the milk. I wonder where the milk goes next. Hey, what's in that big tanker? Oh, it's full of the milk from the cows. The milk is being delivered to the dairy. 
That man is connecting up a pipe so that the milk can travel from the tanker into the dairy to be made into cream. This is the dairy. The milk is heated up to just the right temperature and it travels through all these pipes. The cream is separated from the milk. Hey, that's the cream! Now the cream is poured into this machine. It's called a pasteuriser. The cream is heated up to get rid of any harmful bugs. This makes it safe to eat. The cream is now cool and ready to put into bottles. Remember to keep your cream in the fridge. I'd better get some of this cream back to the cafe. See you later. Mirror, mirror, made of foil. Help me see my big red boil. Way! I'm back. Have you managed to see your spot yet, Ben? <laughs> Not yet, Small. This foil's too crinkly. Well, let's get on with making the trifle. It'll cheer you up. Woohoo! And I brought back the cream. Woohoo! Woo ho ho! Well done, Small. It's so scrummy and creamy. I had a great time. I saw cows being milked. Moo! <laughs> and then I went to the dairy where I saw cream being made. Oh, yummy! Come on then, Small. Let's get started. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <music> Jelly boats and pirates gold. Princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruit smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Spotty Trifle? You do. There was jelly. One packet of your favourite flavour. We're using strawberry. Trifle sponges. Four. Jam. One tablespoon of your favourite flavour. Again, we're using strawberry. Fruit cocktail. One tin. Custard. One carton. Chocolate buttons. One packet. And cream for whipping. 250 millilitres. Whoopee! Let's get started! I've cut the trifle sponges in half, and now I'm going to cover them in the sticky jam. Hoo-hoo! There's one. Hoo-hoo-hoo! Oh, I love jammy jobs. <laughs> so do I! <laughs> Finish the last one off. Nice and jammy. Hoo-hoo! On goes the top, and we can lay the trifle sponges at the bottom of a trifle bowl. There we are. Oh, I think I'll have to keep my eye on Little Cook so he doesn't eat all the jam. He can't resist it. Mm. I'm just checking the jam's nice and fresh. <laughs> oh, yes. And now you've got a jammy moustache. <laughs> <laughs> I love jam. <laughs> Ooh, right. These sponges are lovely and jammy now, so I'm going to sieve the juice from the fruit cocktail into a bowl to separate the fruit from the juice. And this is a slippy sloppy job, so look out you don't get dripped on, little cook. <laughs> Drip this way, please, Ben. Mm. <laughs> right, now I can sprinkle the fruit over the sponges. You can use fresh fruit if you like. Fruit is very good for you. <laughs> hey, Ben, how's your spot? I'd forgotten all about my spot until you reminded me. <laughs> right, now I've already dissolved the jelly cubes in some hot water. And that's a job for your grown-up helper to do because the water is hot, hot, hot. Once the cubes have dissolved, we can pour it all over the sponges and the fruit. Do it quite carefully so that it doesn't splash. 
Splash this way, please, Ben. <laughs> when the jelly has cooled down, it needs to go in the fridge to set for two hours. So, over we go. And into the fridge. For two hours. The jelly is set now, so it's time to pour on the custard. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It's like a lovely yellow custardy waterfall. Is it time to put the cream on now, Ben? Yes, it is small and it's going to get gloopy, so stand well back. <laughs> pour the cream into a bowl like this and then start mixing. It'll start to get thicker. <laughs> An electric whisk will help, but I'm going to try and do it with my arm. Be careful, Ben! <laughs> oh no! I've been splashed! <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Small. Now look who's got spots. <laughs> <laughs> I better go and get myself cleaned up. <laughs> now the cream's ready when it starts to make little mountain peaks like this. So once it's ready, we can start to spread it on the custard. So, I'm going to take a spoon and onto the custard it goes. And we've got lots of it, so get it all on. There we go, lovely and creamy. And spread it out. Nice and smooth. <laughs> what about the spots, Ben? A spotty trifle needs spots. Oh, <laughs> whoops, I almost forgot. To make the trifle spotty, we cover it with chocolate buttons. Spotty. Dotty. Spotty. Dotty. Spotty. Dotty. Spotty. <laughs> there. And when the trifle's nice and spotty, it's finished. Quick, Ben. Get it to clover the cow while it's still nice and cool. OK, then. One spotty trifle coming through! There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes! And it looks like Clover the cow enjoyed her spotty trifle. Look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for the scrumptious spotty trifle! Hoo -hoo! I'm very busy moon jumping these days. The moon keeps still most of the time. She loves watching our reflections in the lake. Oh! Talking about reflections, I have a moon mirror for each of you. I hope your spot goes soon, Big Cook Ben. Big moves from Clover. Look, Small, it's mirrors. Here's your mirror, Small. Thanks, Ben. Oh, how very kind of Clover. And how very handsome. <laughs> Aha, at last, a mirror. Now let's have a look at this spot. Uh! Oh, hang on a minute. That's not a spot. Oh, it's a blob of tomato sauce. Oh, see you soon. See you soon. Oh.